Thank you for joining us on my catalog. And today, yes, 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 we got Zach Tabudlo back in the building. The song is called Give Me Your Forever. Whew, sounds great. All right, let's get into it. You know, Zach ain't going to disappoint. Not after we listen to that last song. His voice yeah. is incredible. For sure. Yeah, he's got a great voice. And and he's a ghostwriter on top of that. So he writes his own music. This man possesses a lot of skills. We just got to know him. So we still, you know, getting to know him. Love that guitar. Do you remember when we were young? You were always with your friends. Wanted to grab your head and run away from them. I knew that it was time to tell you how I feel. So I made a move, I took your hand. My heart was beating loud like I've never felt before. You smile and happy like you wanted more I think you're the one I've never seen before I want you to know I love you the most I'll always be there right by your side Cause baby you're always in my mind Just give me a forever Back in 73 I was so jealous seeing you with him Oh baby I know that I can treat you better back in those nights Oh you wouldn't cry for me stupid lies Oh baby I was still watching wishing you to be mine I want you to know I love you the most I'll always be there right by your side Cause baby you're always in my mind Just give me forever I want you to know That you'll be the one And I'll be the guy You'll be on his knees To say I You in your gown, I was crying all my tears I told myself that you are the one
Plum composed, produced, and mastered by him. <laughs> Yo, it's a beautiful song. What was happening towards the end? The little girl was playing her grandma, right? It will, well, it looks like that was like her grandparents, and that they're reenacting their love story. It looked like they were doing like their love story, like the grandparent. So, like that's why he kept saying the different acts. But the old guy was him, right? So she started to remember because he reenacted like the part where he like, asked her to marry her. And then when he was doing that part to her, actually, it looked like she was started to remember him younger. So that's why it looked it went back to looking at him. So it looked like that was like supposed to be him when he got older. Their love story. So it was like when they first were like in love with each other, the, like the whole prom thing, and then they ended up like she ended up like not going to like leaving him, right? And then she was like with somebody else. That's what he was singing about, like that time apart, where she was actually dating somebody else, and then they rekindled that fire later on in life. And then they like had their first dance, and then he was doing the first dance part with her. So as you can see, like that's supposed to be like the older him. Uh, and the little girl was playing her so she was basically watching her tell the story of her own life yeah because uh i was listening to the song and the song started off when they were young you know yeah how jealous he was in 73 because you love someone else back in 73 i was so jealous seeing you with him oh baby I know that I can treat you better back in those nights Oh, you wouldn't cry for me, stupid lies I would have never treated you that way in those nights And then he went to like, on the day she walked with the gown The marriage and everything else towards the end So like the music was actually going with the story that was being shown on the video Yeah, for sure yeah, no, it was fire. I liked it. I I'm wondering if it has to do with like if they were just doing like a sweet little story like to like do it or if it has anything to do with like maybe she like doesn't remember and she maybe like, you know, Alzheimer's or something like that. That's what I was thinking towards the end. It looks like she started having the flashback. She was like mm -hmm. started to remember. So I don't know if it's like maybe she doesn't remember and she has like Alzheimer's and then like maybe it started to hit her when she when he got down on his knees, like it was like a flashback kind of thing. Or if it was just like she was just so caught up in the story again that she started to remember it and started to see him as younger. I mean, you can take it both ways, but yeah. I think it could be like either way, like kind of like, like a notebook scenario where he's like telling her their life story. And then at the end, she finds out like the whole story that she's been hearing this entire time was like her own story that she was remembering. Right. Um... So, I mean, th either way, I mean, it's a dope song. I like it. I mean, it's, it's super a beat is definitely something that you can listen to like all the time it sounds really great yeah i think he killed it with with the melodies and the singing along i mean it's a love song right it's like uh, yeah the guitar was like amazing honestly i love the guitar the guitar was like sounding great I, I thought like the lyrics were beautiful too you know it's a song about love and you you can never get mad at songs about love especially give me your forever because it's like love forever and that's how love should be so that's beautiful i wonder if it's like a Maybe he got inspired by his grandparents, you think? Yeah. And I, I would I would think so. I mean, because obviously it's not him, right? Because he's he's not old yet. Yeah. So, well, yeah, he could be right in perspective of his grandparents. That, that would be dope. That's what I was thinking, too, a little bit. That's what I was thinking at first. Like, this was his grandparents the whole time until it, they showed him at the end. Right? Yeah. And I was like, oh, it's supposed to be him. Right? Yes. When he was proposing, right? When the older gentleman was proposing, as he was proposing, like, she started, like, getting blurry around him. You know, mm -hmm. and then he switched into the young him and then right back into him then, yeah, you know? Day. No, it was fire though. I liked it. I thought he killed it. I mean, this is like a song that is going to be timeless. Love stories are, are timeless song. So I think he did a beautiful job, like explaining like the story. Even if we didn't get the visuals that we saw, like I think he told the story even good in the song, right? Yeah. Both, both ways I was able to picture it. I think it went perfectly with the story. I, I like that they had like the little girl that was actually reenacting her, yeah. right? Yeah. And even like her, like she even had a little bit of attitude a little bit when she left him on the prom. I was like, dang, like that's yeah. kind of shady, right? <laughs> Give him the hand and everything. And he just sitting there yeah. like, oh, like, like all sad. That's right? why in the song, he was so mad about 73 that he had yeah. to mention it specifically, you know? For sure. Yeah, it was a really cool video and I love the song. And like you said, it's timeless. And it's so fitting to the title of the song, Give Me Your mm -hmm. Forever, you know, fits in with Timeless. Yeah. Which is really, yeah. really dope. I love love songs because it's like everybody goes through this at some point. And if you are like lucky enough to have love for such a long time, God bless you.
God already bless you. You know what I mean? (laughs) You can only wish for that, you know, because as you grow old, like people, especially the young, like they they start like sort of like uh, distancing from you, you know, and if you have that strong rock next to you, you know what I'm saying? You'll never be lonely for certain. This was giving me some like real like Ed Sheeran like thinking out loud vibes. Yeah. You know, like when he goes over the, the years of like loving her for like forever, his entire life, going through all his years of his life. And this is what they kind of remind me of, but just like him actually telling the story. And I feel bad for like the, the older gentleman too, because it's like he was almost like reliving some of the stuff that he like some of the years that he didn't like. Right? I don't know. Yeah. It's like it's weird. He to remembers tell, like, your everything own story. vividly. Yeah. He definitely yeah. broke out all the time as you know. Sure. Like, yeah, he he remembers everything, even when he shared that apple with him and not me <laughs> in right? elementary school, you know? <laughs> yeah. He remembered all of it. Yeah. Yo, I like Zach's voice, though, man. Zach's writing and his voice is, like, really, really nice, y'all. And, and you can tell he plays instruments, too, because he played that instrument. And, like, you read the credits, too. The production and everything is from him, too. So shout out to Zach. And mastering it too. He's, he's got his hand in a lot of production. Right? Yeah. Shout out to yeah. Zach. He's something nice, yo. He's yeah. something real nice. So no, for he's, sure. he's he's an artist for sure. Yeah, he he killed this. I thought he did a great job. The production sounded great too. So like if it, I mean with him being behind that, like I'm not surprised. Like yeah. with that voice and everything, it's matching his talent for sure. Yeah. So yeah, he's gonna he's definitely gonna go far. I mean, like he seems like he's already killing it. I mean, we're just finding out about him, but it looks like he's already been killing it. Yeah, ghost riding for others. You you know you're great if you ghost riding for others. Yeah, man. Shout out to Zach. And his videos have been great. His uh content has been great. His vocals and instruments have been great. I mean, like, can't speak enough about Zach, yo. Honestly, he's like very, very, very surprising. I was not expecting him like i thought he was possible because you know sometimes when you hear like a great artist the first thing comes to your mind is are they an artist artist or are they shaped into that like did they do Mm. stuff for him to put him in this position to sound like this you know and i'm Mm. so glad that he's an artist artist you know like he is this he is the creation and he is his creation as well which is really really dope i love to come across like artist artists you know real yeah. musician so when they're not yeah, just the voice right when it's not mm-hmm. just like they can sing really good but like when they have their hand in everything else too which i'm sure like i mean like he, you could tell like he had his hand even in like the visuals and stuff like this because it look how perfectly it went with the song so yeah. it's like things like that like it's, it's it's like people we always talk about like ren and, and those guys that literally like have their hand in so much of the of what what they creatively put out that's really what makes you an artist right it's not just like you only do one part like, you only you sing not your and they write for you yeah. and they do the instrumental yeah. for you. Now, for right. sure, I, I respect the artists that do it all, you know. It just, uh, it gives us so much. But Zach is on that written level, to be honest with you, because he produces too. Like, yeah. like you read on the credits, like he's producing it too. There's yeah. one thing, you know, you compose and you write the song and stuff like that, you know. Like, that's great as well, don't get me wrong. But like when you are the producer as well, like you Dr. Dre and Eminem both mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, it's like lethal. Like your ideas will come to life exactly how you picture them, you know, which is great. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the artists who don't produce too, because you know, they must have great producers around them that brings out the ideas that they have. Yeah. So. Well, sometimes it sometimes it's like you play your position though too, right? You you gotta know what you're great at too. If you know that you've tried producing and you just don't have the ear for it, or mm-hmm. you can't, you know, you can't figure it out, then like don't do it just to be like, I do it, right? Like you still wanna yeah. like your music still has gotta come first. If you know that you can get a better product of somebody else that can that can do it better than you, or get the sound that you're trying to get and you can't create it yourself then yeah like I, i'm all for like collaborations and stuff like that it's just amazing to see that people who who can do it and they are talented that they're multifaceted and that they want to do all of it it just shows the love for the the passion of the music that they're making you got people yeah. like the warning and stuff like that that like literally are like a real band and people that like really love the craft of like what they're doing it's not just like one aspect of it like they love all of it good thing you mentioned the warning because you know how the warning is so great at performing Mm-hmm. And they do everything, you know, the instrumental, the writing, they do everything. So if Zach does the same thing, like as far as like the writing, the instrumental, the production, 
that means that when he performs, it's probably super duper efficient. I actually yeah. want to see his performances. I think he would absolutely like kill it. Yeah, I don't, he seems, I don't like, see he no seems like the perfectionist. He yeah, yeah, for sure. So we definitely gonna check out Zach live, but for now, shout out to Zach, guys. We give you our thoughts. You give us your thoughts in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, tell everybody about my catalog. Until next time, peace.